Hello and welcome! I am Arumba. thank you for joining me. This is episode 170 of Let's Play the Prince and the Thane mod for Crusader Kings 2. Our little buddy here, the Aztec Empire, has a army of 263,000 men. We have an army of 580,000 men. A 190,000 retinue cap that I'm currently not using any of, in hopes that I won't need it. And then also something I've kind of ignored is that we have a tremendous amount of piety, 7,600. And there are all these cheap little um, holy orders that I could hire. Oh, those are mercenaries, excuse me. The holy orders, I could hire two of them at least, which are pretty darn strong, but the problem is that they're going to get hired all the way over here in Bashkirs. So I don't really want that. And I was thinking maybe I could change my capital to Iceland. We could hire them up there, but then they'd suffer attrition on the way down. So then I was thinking, well, what if I could somehow get control of one of these counties. You know what I do? I think it'd be funny. I'm just gonna build a freaking castle. This is gonna be my new capital. Right here. The the barony of whatever it gets called. Right there, and then I'm gonna just summon all the mercenaries and all of the holy orders right there, and we're just gonna kick his ass. But um, first, we're going to try to to kill his army. So, okay, back to the micro e type stuff. This army should be raised on the coast. This army should get to the coast. This army coast, coast, coast down here. Okay. Can't raise it there for some reason. Okay, go there. Oh shoot, I just did that wrong. Right, that army had already been raised. All of you guys can head down to here. You're kind of in the middle of nowhere. Awesome. Coast. I don't know where you guys came from, so just you know, whatever. Run to the coast. See, without having to worry about attrition, you just keep your men piled up in one he big huge stack. And you just say, food? Supply lines? What are those? Never heard of them. Okay. And we'll take all the boats. Oh wow, that's right, the Norwegian army is here. Really weird place for it. Let's send it over there. We'll take these boats. Let's go pick up this army. It's not very large, but probably gonna need every man. And some of the boats are already on their way, so for the sake of not crashing the game and also hopefully microing a little bit better, I'm going to plan speed 3 for this video for a little bit. We need some boats down here. I know there's a lot of boats over here.
micro. There should be a very large Byzantine fleet as well. That one's already been accounted for. Okay, let's grab up the smaller boats. So you and all you intercoastal type people. There's 75 of you. Why don't you head there? We'll grab that group. What was the English fleet doing? Attacking Brittany. Okay. Alright, let's pay pretty close attention to this army. You know, he's actually attacking just these counties, so he's probably going to congregate everything here. And he's already here. Because he's clearly a bastard. Actually, no, he's heading to Claremont. Why are you going east? Interesting. This first army will be there on the 10th of December, which is only s about a week away. These are the actual levies, and I'm not too worried about depleting the levy. I've already suffered like 7,000 attrition. It's awesome. Because the levy's like minuscule compared to this. But I'm not going to lose the war, like, instantly, because I'm going to be able to take all of Brittany. This is all still really weak, so we can just assault it all. Oh, cool. We actually have a plot firing to kill him. That could be good. Hopefully it succeeds. Another army showing up. He's beginning his assault on my actual target counties. Oh, that is really fortified. Here, go back out to sea. Maybe it replaced with that smaller army. don't really want to just like get war score that's not really the goal so I need to stay focused on that because I tend to have a one-track mind just to just try to like kill everything and win I don't know if you can I, my game is kind of tweaking out a little bit it's getting little twitches here and there for some reason he's camping out in his capital oh apparently there's castles that I own in his capital. Huh. We'll just have to try again. Didn't actually succeed in the killing of him. He's keeping his army consolidated and he's heading down here to kill this one. Time seems to stand still when I do these crazy wars. You guys just stand down, I don't care about you. This army is going to get eaten. I can't stop it. I have no boats nearby. Stay close, but stay spread out, please. This army that went back to sea goes there. The 8,000 can go there.
just instant one day kills that 7,000 stack. And yet we're technically winning the war. Thirty-nine thousand. There's so many men everywhere. Good lord. I'm gonna use this area here again as a staging ground. Just to see what I can do. times So we have 515,000 men, and it feels like most of them are en route. So stupid. 250,000 men. God. No, I will not stop complaining. I think it's dumb. Never gonna be ready. The land is mine. Okay, getting close, I think. It's gonna take, I mean, it's gonna take me a while to get everything positioned properly. I think what I'm gonna need to do, since he's not splitting his army at all, is to just have all of it ready again and just do one massive boat bomb of like 500,000 men. We have enough boats for it. We could carry. 100 times 1,752 boats. So... Wait a minute. I'm wrong. No, we can't We can't do that big of a bomb. That's only 170,000 men that we could actually fit on boats at once. God damn it! Can't even boat bomb properly. Oh god, I can't. 
253,000 out of 281. So, so far, they've lost about 28,000 of the army. I'm going to have to throw some massive armies at it. And then assassinate all of his commanders. And probably hire all the holy orders. Stop sacrificing people. It's not cool. He's coming for me. He'll be here in nine days. <laughs> nice. I could retreat all the men. I would say I have a pretty decent positioning advantage, being able to spread myself out like this. But it's still... Um, it, this is a defensive war. All that I would really get by winning 200 gold. Wow. Big freaking deal. Alright, um, I'm going to wrap it up here. And in the next video I think I'm going to have to consider looking at this retinue thing as well. Because he's just a jerk. So, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you soon.